Now I'm gonna go over how you can um, access and adjust your widgets on an iPad. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and jump into your home screen here. And if you just do a little swipe to the right, you'll see your widgets will pop up over here on the left. And if you're in portrait mode instead of landscape mode, um, it works the same way pretty much except that it'll pop up as an overlay instead of showing up alongside your apps here. But whether you're in portrait or landscape, this is how you get to your widgets. Now, if you want to adjust what widgets you see over here on this screen, you can go ahead and tap edit. Down, If you scroll down to the bottom of your widgets, you'll see the edit button. And from here, you can get rid of widgets if you want to. Or you can add widgets by tapping the plus button in the top left-hand corner of the screen. So if you tap on that, you'll see you get a bunch of different widgets for the different apps that you have on your iPad. So if you don't see a widget here for your, an app um, that you want to use a widget for, probably means the developer hasn't made a widget for that app yet. So keep an eye out and hopefully they'll add one soon. But you have a couple different options here that you can go ahead and add. So say you just want the weather. You can tap on the weather one and you get options of what size you want the weather app to be. I'm going to go ahead and make it um, the smaller size so you can see what that looks like. So you just tap add widget and you can see it's now right here. This doesn't show any information because I haven't allowed it to have access to my location just because this is a demo device I don't do that. But if you've allowed location services to be accessed in the weather app that you're using or the default weather app on the iPad here, it'll show the weather for your current location. So don't worry that mine is blank, um, yours won't be. So now you can click done if you're done editing and you'll see now we've removed that one widget and we now have a separate one here. Now you can see this widget right here is called the Smart Stack widget, and it has a bunch of different widgets within one that you can see I'm scrolling through. So if we want to change that one, we just go to the Edit button again, and we hit Add. And you can go down to, it's called the Smart Stack. So if you tap on that, again you can pick from three different sizes, so now we'll do the big one. We'll click Add, and you can see um, you'll scroll through and it'll have your different widgets. Again, yours will show more information than mine. You can tap the Customize button here, to go ahead and add other widgets and things like that. Um, to the screen here if you want to. So that kind of gives you some more options um, for widgets and things like that. So if you're a Google Assistant user but you have a iPad, you can quickly add that if you want to. We can also go back to edit and we can get rid of some of these by tapping the minus and hitting remove. And we'll leave those the way they are. Now, if you want your widgets to always be shown on your home screen instead of having to kind of swipe to the right like we did before, you can go ahead and turn the switch on at the top. And now you'll see. Oh, let's try that again. Let's click edit. Let's try to scroll up. Let's click this. Make sure you click done first because that'll save those changes. And now you can see it's part of that first home page. So if I go here, it's always here. Again, I can go ahead and change that by going down to edit, turning it off, clicking done. And now you can see I have to do that swipe right to go ahead and pull it back up if I want to. So I'm gonna leave it on to always be there because I want my widgets easily accessible. Remember to click done to save all your changes. And that's how you can kind of go and edit and use widgets on an iPad device. Hopefully this video helps. And if it does, go ahead and make sure you click that like button down below and subscribe to find more videos um, about the iPad or any other tech devices you might have.